Hey, this is Tyler with Tyler for the Magic Tonight. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. I don't usually do audio reviews, but uh, I did a little bit of an upgrade. I want to show you guys the differences back to back in the video here. So I had started doing some audio voiceovers on some of my recordings here. I had a friend that was kind enough to give me some audio equipment. I had been using just a USB headphone microphone combo, but I was never really happy with how audio. So I decided to switch to a mixer and a different microphone. So what I'm on right now is an old headset. It's a real tech high definition audio headset. So I thought it would be interesting to be to do a comparison between these two different microphone systems. This is on the headset. And this is on the new microphone and mixer setup. So I thought the difference between these two microphones was obviously pretty amazing. The biggest thing I noticed right away was the lack of background noise or that hiss that you heard in the other one. Of course, there's a lot fuller of a range, but the hiss was the biggest thing that was bothering me. You could really hear it during the recording while it was playing. You had to turn all the other audio way down, or if you turned that source audio way up, uh, it, that hiss would just really get unbearable. So I have absolutely never used a mixer like this before. I didn't know what I was looking for. I just kind of went off the recommendation of a friend, and I'm pretty glad I did. Uh, this one's pretty easy to hook up. There's a USB that goes into the back. Uh, there's also a power cord that plugs into the actual mixer, and then you have to plug the microphone into the mixer as well. I did end up spending a little bit more to get one that had phantom power built in. Apparently some types of microphones need that, and not all of these will provide that feature. And the other thing I sprang for was uh, one that was capable of providing some compression. Why I was told that compression would be helpful for the type of things I was doing is because apparently, naturally when you're talking, you tend to either fade up or down at the end of your sentences as far as the volume goes. And what the compression does is it basically mashes it down into a certain confined area so you aren't getting those really high peaks or really low lows where it's harder for people to hear you. The other parts of this mixer all seem pretty basic. There's an EQ for the high, EQ for the low, um, fade left to right, levels on the mic, levels on the main, levels for your headphones coming out. Uh, that's one kind of cool thing. You can actually plug your headphones directly into this mixer and it'll go through there. So to give you a little bit of an idea how the EQ sounds in practice, this is the EQ high all the way on low. And then as we can turn it up all the way through the middle and then up to high, see how it sounds different. Then we can do that with the low part too, turning it all the way down and then rotating it back up all the way through the highs and back down to the middle again. I think I kind of like the high. It sounds a little bit like Barry Manilow. Other than that, that's all I really know about this mixer so far. I did notice that I had to turn the levels up pretty high, both on the... Um, one channel on the microphone input channel and on the main mix they're both up you know, probably four-fifths of the way so I could get a decent recording on the computer. I don't know if that's something with how I'm set up or if I'm not clock talking close enough to the mic. If anybody knows more about this than I do please leave a little comment below. The only other purchase I did do with this is I got a windsock for it. I thought it was pretty cool the difference between having one there and not so I thought I'd give you a little demonstration just with some hard Keys and a little that's with it off and then turning it on putting it in front of the microphone I can blow into it and do the hard peas and you really it's a huge reduction in the amount of uh, amount of noise you get from it and the final part to this I guess is the microphone that I actually have plugged into it it's another Behringer product it's the ultra voice when I looked it up, it was about a $30 mic. I mean, it wasn't very expensive, but I think it just kind of goes to show that with a $30 mic and this mixer was about 50 bucks. I saw them for 34 for a little bit lesser models. It still would have worked. I think you can get some pretty decent audio through your computer. Um, I was blown away with how much better and how much more professional it sounded than just that headset I was using, and I'm super happy that I ended up upgrading to this one. So thank you guys so much for watching something a little bit different. Hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys. I uh, should be back with the regular scheduled programming coming up next week. If you have any comments or suggestions or things I missed or did wrong, go ahead and leave them down in the comments here. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed already, please click that subscribe button. Thank you.